90,000, 80,000, 67,000, 40,000. Those are just a few of the wire transfers and checks that prosecutors say victims in this case who are mostly elderly sent to the three men who are now facing the possibility of years in prison. Outside the federal courthouse in downtown Cincinnati, Frank Anon, Eric Asumong, and Andrew Ensong had little to say today. I'm with Channel 5. Any of y'all care to share a thought about what happened and the charges against you? The 45-year-old Anon, along with Asumong, who's 42, and his 25-year-old brother, Ansong, were indicted this week by a federal grand jury. Prosecutors say since January of last year, the men connected with people online, most of whom are elderly, and engaged in friendly and even romantic relationships. After that, the indictment says in most cases, quote, the online co-conspirator would seek money from the victim based on an elaborate gold investment scheme. Investigators say unsuspecting victims sent money via wire transfers and checks. Listed transactions show the defendants received amounts ranging from 90, 80, and 67 thousand dollars on the high end to two grand. Anon lives in Liberty Township. Asumong and Ansong call Fairfield home. Agents arrested them this morning and they made their first court appearance this afternoon. Each defendant pleaded not guilty and was allowed to return home to wait for the next hearing in the case. Now, the indictment includes 14 counts in all, including conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. Each count carries a penalty of up to 20 years uh, in prison and also a $250,000 fine. Anon, Asumong, and Ensong are not charged exactly the same way, but if convicted, it is possible that each man could spend years behind bars. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News.